We've got some breaking news that's coming in right now. India today accesses the Karnataka High Court interim order on the hijab row. Some of the points of uh, that High Court order are on India today right now. It says abstain from religious practices in class. The High Court order has now been put out. It has the details of what the High Court order says that interim order, of course, from the Karnataka High Court. My colleague Akshita Nandakopal is now joining me with the details. Akshita, take us through the details of what does the High Court order specifically state? It's a seven-page order. This is an interim order, mind you, Paul, me, that we've accessed here on India Today. Now, you mentioned the main point about religious outfits in educational institutes and what the High Court has said about that. There are three points that we've identified as being crucial in this particular order. So let me just read out for you what the High Court has said. It says, firstly, we're pained by the ongoing agitations and closure of educational institutions since the past few days, especially when this court is seized off this matter and important issues of constitutional significance and of personal laws are being seriously debated. It hardly needs to be mentioned that ours is a country of plural cultures, of religions and languages. Being a secular state, it does not identify itself with any religion as its own. Every citizen has the right to profess and practice any faith of choice is true. However, and this is an important part, such a right not being absolute is susceptible to reasonable restrictions as provided by the Constitution. Whether we Wearing of hijab in the classroom is a part of essential religious practice of Islam in the light of constitutional guarantees needs a deeper examination. So that's very important. They're saying that considering there's no clarity on that essential practice point, let's not go into the details right now. Besides that, this is what it says. As being a civilized society, no person in the name of religion, culture or the like can be permitted to do any act that disturbs public peace and tranquility. Endless agitations and closure of educational institutions indefinitely are not happy things to happen. The hearing of these matters on an urgency basis is continuing. Elongation of academic terms would be detrimental to the educational career of students, especially when the timelines for admissions are mandatory. Now, they've also gone on to state that this academic year is coming to an end shortly. We hope and trust that all stakeholders and the public at large shall maintain peace and tranquility. This right here is the most important point in that interim order. They're saying we request the state government and all other stakeholders to reopen educational institutions, allow the students to return to classes at the earliest, pending consideration of all the petitions. We restrain all the students, regardless of their religion or faith, from wearing saffron shawls. They mentioned in brackets, bhagwa, uh, scarves, hijab, religious flags, all the like within the classroom until further order. So that's a very, very important point. Let me just read that out for you as well. Pending consideration of all these petitions, we restrain students, regardless of their religion or faith, from wearing saffron shawls, from wearing scarves, from wearing hijab, religious flags, all the like within the classroom until further orders. This is a very, very important point right there. That point essentially sums up for you what's been mentioned there in the interim order, Polomi, uh, with, the, in fact, the High Court stating clearly that this is an issue we're still looking into, that they're going to look into whether hijab is an essential part of Islam, what the Constitution also clearly states on this matter. All of that is going to be considered before they come across with a full order. Meanwhile, this is an effect.